Good morning! Halika, magkapi tayo! Welcome to the morning coffee with Father Jerry. Our text for today is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 12, verses 1 to 8. It says, At that time, Jesus went through the grain fields on Sabbath. His disciples were hungry and began to pick some heads of grain and eat them. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to him, Look, your disciples are doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath. He answered, Haven't you read? What David did when he and his companions were hungry, he entered the house of God, and he and his companions ate the consecrated bread, which was not lawful for them to do, but only for the priests. Or haven't you read in the law that the priests on Sabbath duty in the temple desecrate the Sabbath? and yet are innocent? I tell you that something greater than the temple is here. If you had known what these words mean, I desire mercy, not sacrifice, you would not have condemned the innocent. For the Son of Man is the Lord of the Sabbath. Thus far is the reading for today's Gospel Reflection. What is it for us? What is God's message for us through this text just read? Today's Gospel, Jesus and his disciples were walking through a field of grain. It was a Sabbath. The disciples were hungry, and without thinking, they began to pick some of the grain and eat them while they were in a journey. There were several Pharisees who saw the disciples doing this. They immediately approached Jesus and told him that his disciples' action was unlawful since it was the Sabbath. No work was to be done on the Sabbath. That's the Jewish tradition. Not only were the disciples speaking the grain, they also were eating the grain. They did not have the right to eat. It may be helpful also to know that in the time of Jesus, the farmers were encouraged to leave some grains on the edges of the fields for the poor to eat. Thus, Jesus and the disciples were not stealing grain from the farmers. Rather, they were doing what was customary. Yet the Pharisees seized the opportunity to criticize the Lord. Jesus responded to the Pharisees' question by using the example of David from the Old Testament. When David and his companions were hungry, they went inside into the house of God and ate the bread offering that only the priests were allowed to eat. Jesus then Ask the Pharisees, do you consider David's acts unlawful? He also 
reminded them that in varying times throughout history, the priests of the temple had violated the Sabbath. Did the Pharisees consider these priests as guilty or innocent of the crime? Then Jesus states the following, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. Mercy is a great gift. It is a gift when we receive mercy from Jesus. However, it is also a great gift when we are gifted with mercy from another person. Do you remember a time in your life when someone was merciful or compassionate with you? They may have been kind and understanding even if you did not deserve it. Our challenge. What is the primary intention behind this command in the gospel today? The religious leaders confronted Jesus on this issue. The Sabbath rest was meant to be a time to remember and celebrate God's goodness and God's graciousness and the goodness of his work both in creation and redemption. It was a day set apart for the praise or in order to praise God. His work of creation and his saving action on our behalf. And in defending his disciples, Jesus argues from the scriptures that human need has precedence over ritual custom. In their hunger, David and his men ate of the holy bread offered in the temple. Jesus then quotes from the prophet Hosea chapter 6 verse 6 when he says, I desire mercy and not sacrifice. By the way, I would like to make it clear. The part of the Jewish tradition that anyone or anybody who is traveling or in a journey when they feel hungry while traveling they can always pluck some grains grains in the field while traveling Basta ang condition na when they feel hungry, they can always help themselves. And that's the purpose of having those rice fields and grain fields or wet fields. Dahil nga, in fact for some farmers, may talagang nilaan silang grains sa field. Purposely for the travelers to just pick them up and help themselves to eat. Pero the situation now is different. Although andun yung condition that Jesus and his disciples were traveling and andun yung condition na sila and while traveling, so it was allowed to pluck some corn and eat them. But unfor unfortunately, there was or there were Pharisees who saw them and automatically they accused Jesus accusing him that he was not following the law, that it's a Sabbath. The trouble comes in dahil nga, it was a Sabbath na kumakain ng mga grains ang mga apostles or disciples. Okay? So, Jesus, in answer to, in answer or in defense of his disciples, he caught a text from the Old Testament, from the book of Hosea, and then relating to them, the 
it happened before. Dahil priest and his companions or David and his companions were angry, kinain niya yung exclusive, supposedly exclusive na bread na exclusive para lang sa mga priests in the temple and so on and so forth. Okay? So the issue here is about Sabbath and not to do anything about Sabbath. But for Jesus, life is more important than the law on Sabbath. Okay? Lastly, Jesus always encourages us to do what is loving, kind, and sensible. Law is important and essential. However, if we are not careful, we may make the law our God. And this is not the God that Jesus wants us to worship. For Jesus, the law of love always reigns, reigns supreme. Today, the law of love reigns in our lives. Let us pray. Lord, make us to walk in your way where there is love and wisdom. There is neither fear nor ignorance. Where there is patience and humility, there is neither anger nor annoyance. Where there is poverty and joy, there is neither greed nor avarice. Where there is peace and contemplation. We ask this in the name of Jesus our Lord. Amen. Okay, so paano ito magkapatid? Don't forget to finish your coffee. Thank you at magandang buhay ulit sa ating lahat and see you on Monday.